people don't realize that they need to do all these things because they've never had to. Our smartphones are a haven for bacteria and viruses. In fact, studies show they are one of the most filthy surfaces we touch. So do you know how to clean it? I think I do. I use uh, a disinfectant wipe. Well, he's not wrong. Apple has come forward saying that disinfectant wipes actually are safe to use on your iPhone. Yes, even the screen. But how about something a little stronger? What about bleach? I don't know. I guess you could use bleach. I don't know if that's safe then afterwards or do you have to rinse it after? Bleach is strong enough to kill just about anything, but unfortunately has been shown to corrode metal. So say goodbye to that shine and maybe even that screen. From bleach to another liquid now, isopropyl alcohol is also strong, but if you use it on a microfiber cloth, you can safely clean your smartphone, especially if it's between 60 and 70%. But here's something you should be watching out for. While aerosol sprays work great on desks and other surfaces, the pressure on the spray can force liquid into the speaker and charging ports, causing internal damage. Now here's something you maybe haven't heard about before. This is a UV light box. This is called phone soap. You open it up, you put your device inside, you close the lid, and a UV light disinfects your device. It only takes about 10 minutes. Most smartphone manufacturers admit this is probably the safest route to take as it uses absolutely no liquids. Another thing to keep in mind, if you happen to use a case or a screen protector on your smartphone, there's no guarantee any of these products won't do damage to them. So it's best to check with the company behind them to make sure they're safe to use. For City News, I'm Mike Yanni.